Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and coping with the heat that we're having at the minute. <laughs> I feel like I spoke about this in my last video too, but would I even be British if I didn't speak about the weather? Probably not. Now, so I have a vlog for you guys today. It's a really nice one. I actually headed into London and just spent a really, really fabulous sunny day in London, just wandering around Belgravia and Chelsea and all those beautiful spots in London. I had some lovely dinner and had like a little friendship day as well with my bestie, so that was so, so nice. But I was just about to sit down and edit that video and I had a knock at the door and I had some deliveries come through here uh, from Farfetch. So I thought I may as well show you guys them now and then we can get on with the rest of the vlog. So Farfetch are very kindly sponsoring this section of the video. I have been a Farfetch shopper for a very, very long time now. If you don't know what Farfetch are, they are basically a marketplace that stocks hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different brands from boutiques all over the world. So it's a great place to find things that are maybe harder to find, um, not as easy to kind of come by, or just to find new and emerging brands as well. I also have a discount code for you guys as well, so you can use the code RubyH10 and that will get you 10% off certain items. It doesn't apply to absolutely everything, but it does apply to a lot on the website, so it's definitely worth checking out. So first up, let's talk about Beauty Bit. So this is the box that it came in, and I actually picked up one of the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. So I picked this one up, which is the Sunset one, I believe. And a MUA actually used this on me when I had my makeup done before and I absolutely loved it. And I ha I find Natasha Denona quite hard to get hold of. Like it's not always stopped in like your kind of everyday suppliers and stuff. So when I saw this on there, I was like, I've been meaning to pick that up for ages now. So it's just got such a lovely array of colors and they're really, really pigmented as well. I was so, so impressed when um, the MUA used them on me before. So that is that one. And as I said, you can literally get so many different brands and you can top up on all of your favorites as well. So definitely worth checking them out. Okay, now getting into some clothes. So this is one of the things that I love about Farfetch is you discover brands that you definitely would not have shot with before or even known of. I discovered loads of brands on there like Dilla Valley, I think I'm saying that right. Um, Anina Bing, I definitely discovered on there as well. Loads of brands. And then this is from a brand called St. Agni, which I have never heard of before. So, let me open this up. I just saw it online. I just thought it was so, so different and just such a lovely piece. So it's a one shoulder kind of slip top. I just thought it was really, really simple, but still quite striking with it being asymmetric. So I would probably style this with a pair of jeans and some sim simple strappy heels just for like a nice evening out, maybe a dinner or something like that. So I picked that one up in a size small and I will try it on as well, obviously. So this is the St. Agony top, which I absolutely love. I love the asymmetric detail. I just think it's so, so different, really, really flattering. I love the back too. The only thing is I'm not entirely sure how to style it because I just popped it on with some jeans, but I felt like it looks really bulky around the waist. Okay, so I've actually just popped it on with some wide leg trousers and I feel like that looks a lot better. It's really, really chic and cool. Oh my God, I actually love that. I think it's so, so nice. So this is what the back looks like, which is just so, so flattering. I love it so much. Super different. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. And then next up, I picked this dress up from the brand Beck and & Bridge. And they are an Australian brand that I adore. I mean, their pieces are just beautiful, but I'm always really kind of nervous when ordering from Aussie brands because obviously the customs fees and returns would just be a nightmare. But luckily Farfetch literally take control of all of that. You don't have to pay customs and it's really, really easy and free to return as well. So that is such a pro. So when I saw Beckenbridge on there, I was so, so excited. This is gonna be quite hard to show you, but it's this uh, brown kind of maxi length dress and it has tiers, kind of a tiered skirt there. And then it has like this little cutout top and the back's pretty, cut out as well, don't know how well, I'm, I'm probably not showing you this very well, but you will see it properly in a minute. It has a zip at the back. I got this in a UK eight, I hope it fits, but if it doesn't, I'm gonna exchange it for um, another size. But yeah, I just thought it was so, so nice. And I love the color. I feel like this brown is such a lovely color. And I know that I will get wear out of this for years and years. So really, really happy to get that one. I'm so excited that I can get Beckenbridge on Farfetch. 
So this is the Beck and Bridge number and I love it. It fits so, so well to the point that I don't even need to get it tailored because it just skims the floor really, really nicely. I love the front detail there. The cutouts I think are super, super flattering. Love the colour. Oh, it looks so, so nice with gold jewellery as well, I think. Literally love it so much. And then let me show you the back. So this is what the back looks like. So it's this gorgeous little thick strap here and these kind of skinny straps and then a little cut out there around the waist so next up this would not be a fall from me if i didn't feature a little bit of anine bing i think i say that wrong i feel like everyone slates me in the comments for it anina bing anine bing anine bing not entirely sure um but i'm a big believer of you can still wear the clothes even if you don't pronounce it right okay don't hate me do you know what i better look it up because i feel like people are going to kick off how to pronounce Anina Bing. Uh, knee. Hang on. Anina Bing. Anina Bing. Okay. Anina Bing. There we go. Right, so I picked up this skirt from Anina Bing. I'm going to have to get used to that because I've always said Anina Bing. I picked up this lip skirt from Anina Bing. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I've been looking for a black slip skirt for ages because I feel like in the summer they look so nice with like a white t shirt some black sandals, black slip, and then just like an easy kind of black bag, like my black Chanel or something like that. So this is the one that I went for. It is just a simple black slip. It goes down to like mid-calf, but I'm just super excited about all of the outfits I can style with this. I feel like so many times I've opened my wardrobe and been like, I wish I had a black slip skirt, so now I do. So very excited about that. It honestly feels so, so beautiful as well. And because of the kind of weight of the fabric, I feel like it's gonna drape really, really nicely. And yeah, so that is the next piece that I picked up. And then this is the slip skirt. I've actually just paired it with a little tank top because I feel like this would be how I would wear it most days. Really, really like it. I feel like this would be really like suitable for work. Perhaps if you wore like a blazer or something over the top. But I also think it works really, really well for day to day. Like I could pop some trainers on with this and it would look great. But also I think like a white linen shirt over the top would look really cool as well. I just think it creates a really nice silhouette. It's super, super comfy. I didn't know whether to maybe pop and on Farfetch and exchange it for a smaller size. But it actually sits really comfortably and I wouldn't want it to be too tight. So I'm not sure. But yeah, I think it's so, so nice. It feels amazing really comfy this is definitely going to be what i wear to work all the time love it and then very lastly i picked something up from reformation this is what i mean about them just having so many good brands so it is actually my goddaughter's christening um this sunday so i was looking for a dress to wear for that oh i've just un undone the thingies now hang on a second let me do these back up i was looking for a dress to wear for that uh, i just wanted something like nice but also something that i could wear again and actually this dress is quite similar but it's kind of like the reverse and it's this beautiful sheared uh, midi dress that goes down again with the tiered skirt i love these kind of skirts i just think they're so so nice and they move so nicely and i loved the print on this it's this beautiful blue and white print and what i loved about it is i feel like if you dress this up with a pair of heels it will look really dressy but i also think you could wear it with flats and it would look still look really nice and like nice and casual and it wouldn't look kind of strange i love the straps they're these beautiful kind of thin straps and what's great is they tie up so you can kind of adjust them to whatever suits you and i just find this kind of smock detail so flattering like you can kind of see in the dress that i'm wearing now almost gives you like a little bit of a lift of the boobs which is ideal so this is the dress on and i love it so so much it feels so nice and lightweight but still like very very good quality really comfortable you know the fact that i don't have to wear a bra is ideal um i love the straps here and then i was just thinking you actually could pop them down and then tuck them in um, and kind of create like a whole kind of different style dress i think that would look really nice for like a daytime style but it's just so nice it's so so flattering and comfy around the waist and everything like that and yeah really really like it what do you guys think do we think this is like christening appropriate i feel like it is yeah i like it i literally just finished filming and then there was a knock at the door and it was my other far fetch item which i totally forgot that i got so it's this jackmas top it's like a little t-shirt and then it goes into kind of like kind of difficult to show you but kind of ruching around the boobs and as you can see it goes up quite high at the boob there and then it has this little tie detail that ties around the back like so but yeah i don't know if this is very me but i just kind of ordered it on a whim just because i knew the returns process was super easy 
I feel like it could look quite cool with a pair of jeans and like some black heels for dinner or drinks or something. But yeah, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. It comes in loads of other colours as well. So guys, don't forget, if you do want to do some shopping on Farfetch, to use my discount code, which is rubyh10. So I will leave absolutely everything that you need to know down in the description box down below. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing those little bits and bobs that I picked up from Farfetch. And without further ado, I will carry on with the rest of the vlog. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another vlog. Are we zoomed in? There we go, we are zoomed in. I am in the beautiful... Belgravia this morning. Um, it's Saturday morning and I have been down south this week and then I thought I would spend the day in London today because we have a christening near London tomorrow um, and I just thought there's no point me going back up to Manchester and then coming back down this way so I thought I'm gonna hang out in London today. One of my friends Maddie is coming in to meet me later on um, and yeah booked a hotel for tonight so I booked it in Belgravia. Sorry it's super noisy. I booked it in Belgravia. Oh my god honestly I just love it here. It's such a beautiful area. It's such a nice place to come for like drinks and dinner and everything like that. It's got this gorgeous gorgeous high street and it's got loads of like beautiful shops and everything. I've actually got a little bit of time to kill before my own appointment, so I'm gonna pop into Bailey and Sage because I just love like browsing around these little shops. So I'm gonna have a little look in here now. Oh, look at it. Oh my God, it's just amazing in here. Road. By the way, earlier I think I had food in my teeth when I was talking to you, which is so, so minging. Oh, I just love it here. It's so, so nice. This is Pimlico Road. It's just beautiful. Yeah, so I'm heading down to Kings Road because I'm going to meet Maddie there. I'm going to pop into Zara and then we're going to pop to Astrid and Mew because I really want to do the bracelet welding that they do. My hair is such a mess. Uh, I really want to do the bracelet welding they do, which basically they where they weld like a chain bracelet onto your wrist. So it just like obviously stays on there forever or until you like, I suppose, remove it with like pliers or something. <laughs> I really wanted it before the wedding, but I didn't want to have it on for the wedding. So I waited and now we're going to do it. And I got it for Maddie as her birthday present as well. So I'm going to have a little friendship bracelet. So I will film that if I can. But yeah, it is honestly such a glorious day. It's actually really warm though. Kind of like baking right now, but very much not complaining because it is so, so lovely. So I'm just at Duke of York Square currently. It is super busy. Sorry, there's that bright light again. Um, it is so, so busy, but I'm just gonna pop into Free People and then also Zara as well and see what I can find. I might not be able to vlog that much because it is so busy. So I just thought I'd do a little voiceover to explain what is going on here because I feel like otherwise you might be quite confused. But we're in Astrid and Mew here and just picking out what chain that we want to use. Uh, there's also little pendants and gemstones and stuff like that as well. So the lady here has just measured my wrist and then she's going to cut the chain to size and then she connects it on with like a little kind of circular disc I guess and then pops it under the machine there and welds it together. Just picked up a little burger from the market just in Duke of York Square, like outside the Saatchi Gallery. So nice here. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm here with Mads. Hello. We just got our little matching friendship bracelets. <laughs> so yeah, Mads has already eaten, so I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna get something sweet. So we just finished up with our food and we are now on an ice cream hunt. Maddie's got her suitcase. <laughs> we're just gonna head back to the hotel now. Um, but on our way, we're going to go grab an ice cream. We're going to Pavilion Road, which is like just off the back of the King's Road. And it is such a lovely road. And there's a little ice cream shop there. So I'm hoping that it's open. I'm sure it will be. I feel like today would be the ideal day to open. So this is Pavilion Road. 
shops. It's got loads of cute little shops and like little restaurants and yeah, so cute. This bunting is the patriotic. We have just checked into our room and oh my goodness, it is so, so nice. So nice and bright. Got a little twin room, I love all the art. And then we have these gorgeous balconies out here that look out onto the street. This is the bathroom. This is the shower. Oh, oh my God, can you open them? Yeah. Oh my God, living our Parisian best life. Love that. <laughs> How beautiful. So we have just got ready like super, super quick and I mean literally popped like a tiny bit of bronzer on our faces and now we are heading downstairs for some dinner. We're going to the Buttery, which is the restaurant here. It looks so nice. It's in like this like gorgeous garden area, so I'll show you it. But yeah, I just changed into this little Zara dress, which is really, really cute. And yeah, I will show you guys our dinner. Looking forward to it. I think it's like tapas style. I'm just looking forward to getting a drink, to be honest, because it is so, so hot. There's no air conditioning here. So yeah, that's something to bear in mind if you do want to book it. No AC, um, but yeah, other than that, pretty nice. So yeah, let's go. Oh, I don't think I've shown them your dress today. So it's Abercrombie, guys. So nice, literally unreal. Thanks. <laughs> I feel like you can see my dress a little bit better now, actually. You couldn't really see it earlier. But it's really cute. And then the back is really nice as well. Let me show you the back. There's the back. But yeah, right, let's go. I feel like I haven't shown you around the rest of the hotel, but it's like this gorgeous, beautiful, like old house. And it's decorated so, so nicely. Sorry, this part's really dark. But it's got this like beautiful parquet flooring. So nice. And then this is the little reception area, which is really, really nice. The decor is lovely. And then if we go through here, how nice the stair is. This is like the little restaurant. Cheers. <laughs> I just realised, I don't think I filmed our Astrid and Mew bracelets that we got. So I got these two, and I've got that one. And look, they're like welded on, so there's no chain, which is so nice. I really love it. Be happy. <laughs> Cheers. So we are just sat out at the garden of the restaurant, just finishing up our drinks. Um, and I think I'm gonna call it a day here and say bye to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>